lies that realtors tell you, the home sellers, what's on your mind today? This is our topic and we're starting right after this. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Astrid Pavlevsky with Supreme Home Sales. As a Staten Island Realtor, I love helping you navigate the home selling process. I'm so happy you're watching this video because I've heard it too many times and quite frankly, I'm fed up with this. I decided to let you in on this five big lies real estate agent tell you, the seller, just because they want to get your listing. Are you ready? I am. Number one, guys, is price. That's the biggest, biggest lie because if that wouldn't be the case, there would be no price reductions in today's hot market. So when a realtor just agrees to the price that you come up with, then that's a big, big lie. The realtor should be able to bring you data and personal knowledge and experience of your particular neighborhood and your particular house and how it's relating into the current market as well as the market conditions. Is the market escalating? Is it steady? How many houses are on the market that are competing with your particular house as well as the house condition, amenities? So yeah, price is a big, big lie. Number two guys is letting you run the show. The realtor should not let you run the show. The realtor should have a plan in place and a strategy. The realtor's job is to market your property. The realtor's job is to help you prepare your property for sale. The realtor's job is to suggest a competitive market price to list the property at. Yes, in the end of the day, you're the homeowner, you will make the decision of what price to list your property at, but the realtor's job, if they're ethical, is to make sure that they give you the recommendation and explain to you why. They let you run the show it's a red flag they very possible they're desperate for your business and they will do anything just to get it number three they tell you what you want to hear whatever you say they're going to yes you to death whatever you want they're going to say yes if you want a million dollars for your house that's only worth 800 they will say yes if you want to do open houses they will say yes if you have unrealistic expectation they will say yes if you decline or request specific type of marketing whether it's a good idea or not they will say yes in other words if your realtor you're saying yes to everything they're lying to you the fourth biggest lie realtors will tell you is that their brokerage commission is not negotiable that is a lie there's no set real estate commissions in real estate period everything in real estate is negotiable the list price negotiable the terms are negotiable what comes with the house is negotiable the realtors commission is negotiable so that's a big fat lie and I'm going to tell you this, if you are negotiating your commission with your realtor, chances are you're dealing with a realtor who you feel is not worth what they're charging for. Hence, your intuition is probably right. And last but not least, the fifth lie realtors tell sellers just to get your listing is the open house. Realtors want you to believe that they will sell your house in an open house. The truth is the only thing that the open house is benefiting and the only one that the open house is benefiting is really the realtor themselves. Real estate agent use the open house, use the listing and doing the open house on the listing is a vehicle to generate other potential clients like buyers and sellers that they can sell them a house in the future and therefore they are using your house as an open house this is not 1970 
everybody shops online. Marketing and presentation and pricing strategy would be what is going to get your house sold. Statistics show that these days, less than 2% of all sales are happening in the open house. So that's a big fat lie. Don't fall into these lies. Make sure that you watch a video that I did about how to hire a realtor to sell your house in Staten Island. You can watch that next right there. This video will give you an idea and give you some seven questions you can ask or you should ask your real estate agent when you're interviewing them. This is a really big investment. This is a really big commitment. Your house costs hundreds of thousands of dollars. You don't want to miss that video. Thank you for watching and I will see you next in the next video.